Hi, my name is Ann No, and I'm with Nissan Design America here with David Wong. And we're here on the first stop of the Nissan EV prototype test tour here in San Diego. Well, let's take a look. first day of our EV prototype test drive. We're here in San Diego and we're going to visit several different cities to trying to show them that what we've been talking about for the last six months actually works and is real. Our partnership today, our announcement was with San Diego Gas and Electric. Um, we're looking to also partner with the San Diego Regional Planning Commission. Um, which is the regional authority which helps with their transportation planning. So that's a very key partner that we need to help move this forward. Here at San Diego Gas and Electric, we're very interested in trying to promote, promote sustainable transportation and educate our customers on what it takes to implement those technologies into their everyday lives. So when Nissan presented this as an opportunity for the region, we thought it was a great opportunity for us. Well, this is one of two prototypes in the world that we've now brought to San Diego and let the folks in San Diego be one of the first people in the UX to actually drive a prototype that has the right battery pack, it's got the right motor, it's got the right inverter, the car we're bringing to market in 2010, but just wrapped in a second generation cube. What's the, the, the drive is what was most impressive about it. Quite frankly, uh, having been around some of these in the past, I thought they were nothing more than really glorified uh, golf carts. And uh, this one I got in and I felt like I was in a real car. It had power, get up and go, and uh, I think that's what's going to be the defining difference in the electric car market is, is it where it's something that mirrors the, uh, the gas, uh, a four-cylinder gas engine. I think the uh, San Diego consumer will be extremely receptive to the electric vehicle. We have uh, some of the highest hybrid sales in the country in this region, and I fully expect that the fully electric vehicle will trump those. You know, I had a chance to drive this car as I, uh, when I arrived earlier today, many of you may know I spent 26 years of my life in the automotive industry. I was very impressed with the car, most impressed with the pickup of the car. Eight years ago or so, I had the opportunity to drive a, a Honda back in their, in their proving grounds, and it lacked pickup. And that's all, everybody says, well, it's quiet. Yeah, it's quiet, but you gotta be able to get out of the other car's way and move forward. This is a real car. It's the first one I've driven that truly, truly is a real car. We're going to about 12 cities. It's about six or seven weeks long. Um, we're going up and down the West Coast, we're going to Tennessee, we're going to places on the East Coast, so we'll be covering a lot of territory. Oh, it's been a great day. I mean, starting this morning at 9 o'clock, we've had hundreds of people through the car today. They're, they're surprised, of course, by two things. One, we kind of knew what they'd be surprised about, but acceleration. You know, the electric motor has immediate torque, and when you take off, it's just it's surprising how much acceleration the car has. And then the second thing, it's quiet. There's no noise, and everybody's always surprised, but it's just a characteristic of electric vehicles. So what do you think, Ann? I thought it was a really fun ride. My hair was whipping around. It was really fast, actually. Yeah, I thought it's a uh, pretty smooth and uh, exciting drive myself. It's pretty peppy. It's got a lot of pickup for uh, a car of this nature. And um, I just look forward to seeing it on the roads pretty soon. Me too. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>